before has there been a clearer choice for who should be president of the United States for the next four years, and more importantly, who shouldn't? Here's the problem with Joe Biden's campaign strategy. Joe Biden did not campaign forever, and that was a terrible strategy because people are like, look, when are you going to take questions? When are you going to talk? When are you going to come out of your shell? When are we going to find out what you need to know? When are you going to go out there and meet the people that you are asking to vote for you to be their leader for the next four years? Uh, and he was just like, ah, I'm going to wait. You know what? I'm not going to do it yet. Even with the DNC, he refused to go to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So they moved everything to Wilmington, where he's been campaigning from his basement for months. Now, all of a sudden, he goes to Wisconsin. Why? Because there was a police shooting. A white cop shot a black perp seven times in the back paralyzed him and from that there was more uproar there were more riots there was more looting there were fires burning kenosha on fire literally he then at that point still didn't get up out of his basement that wasn't enough G getting the democratic nomination for the presidency not enough to go to wisconsin fires burning looting rioting cops shooting uh unarmed black men again in kenosha still not enough to get him up and go campaign but what finally does donald trump Donald Trump going to Kenosha, Donald Trump meeting the people, Donald Trump healing, that finally gets Joe Biden out of the bunker. And he goes to Kenosha, Wisconsin, and he goes to a church. And he goes to talk to these people about police brutality. He goes to talk to these people about what's been going on. He goes to talk to these people about the riots and looting and destruction that happened after a police shooting. And while discussing his tax plan, in a church in Kenosha, Wisconsin, where this police shooting happened, Joe Biden decides to say this. 19 corporations making a billion dollars a piece don't pay a single penny in taxes. I'm not going to punish anybody, but everyone should pay a fair share. And I can lay out for you. I won't now because they'll shoot me. But here's the deal. I, he's talking about his tax plan. He's talking about 19 corporations and how much money they pay in taxes, which is zero. And he says, look, I'm not looking to punish anybody, but everybody should, should pay their fair share. And instead of going into the details of his tax plan, which he doesn't do because A, he probably doesn't have any. And if he did, B, he probably wouldn't remember them. He says, I'm not going to tell you that. And he makes a joke. I can lay out for you. I won't now because they'll shoot me. But here's I, the deal. I won't now because they'll shoot me. He says to the folks who are mourning a shooting, a police shooting in their community, which basically burned it to the ground. This is this is not this is not good. Joe Biden can't sit at home and not campaign because people complain that he's not campaigning. He can't go out and actually campaign because he's horrible at it and he doesn't know what to say. And more importantly, he doesn't know what not to say. He thinks he's being cute. He thinks he's being funny. He's being neither of those. People keep talking about the debates. Like, they're going to happen. They announced the debate moderators, how, how Chris Wallace is going to be moderating the first debate and how CNN got shut out of all the debates. Have you noticed that CNN has not complained about getting shut out of the, out of the debates? You know why? Because I think they're pretty sure the debates aren't going to happen either. I mean, they didn't get anything. They got shut out of this presidential election. Some folks say it's because they cheated the last time around and gave Hillary Clinton the answers. I say they didn't want in because they know these debates ain't happening. You can't put this guy who tells a bunch of people who are angry and frustrated and sad and crying over a black man and getting shot by a cop. You can't put this guy who walks into their church and says, I can lay out for you. I won't now because he'll shoot me. Yeah, like jokingly. You can't put him on a stage, an international stage, in front of millions and millions of Americans against somebody like Donald Trump, who not only knows exactly what to say at every moment, but says it in a way that makes people excited and, and amped up. A guy that knows how to use language and TV to his benefit, who used it to beat Hillary Clinton in 2016. Hillary Clinton, who, with all amongst all of her faults, at least still had her mental capacity. You're sending Joe Biden out there to his doom. What's worse if you're Joe Biden's campaign manager? Do you keep him at home and show that he's too weak to be president? Or do you send him out there to show that he's too stupid to be president? What's going to what's going to cost you more votes, a weak dude or a stupid dude? I, don't, I haven't figured it out either.